Hey guys and welcome to Words at Scale. Today we are reviewing Word Hero and me being me, I'll be looking at different indicators and factors and spoiler alert, I will be including the AI percentage which is brought by originality.ai so we'll know just how much of the original content Word Hero produces. But first things first, let's talk about what Word Hero is. Word Hero is obviously an AI writer, which claims to have more than 10,000 writers, marketers, and business owners using it. When it comes to popularity and when compared to such giants as Jasper AI, it is not as popular. You can see similar web data for the global rank. And this correlates with traffic. When we compare the two AI writers, it is a no contest, but still, a World Hero visitation is around 500,000 visits per month, which is huge. So by no means World Hero is a small player, just not as big as Jasper AI and some others. One of the things that differentiates World Hero, at least to me, is the amount of templates. I've counted, and maybe I was wrong, but I've counted 77 templates, so very close to 80. And there are some very unique ones like hook story offer template, which I haven't seen in Jasper, for example, or in uh, other copywriters. And one of the things that I like about War Hero, and this is not a pitch since I don't have an affiliate link for War Hero, but it is still available on AppSumo. And if you stack three codes, you get an unlimited version along with the long form writer. So you pay around 200 bucks and you get an unlimited usage and long form copy editor as well, which is great value for money. Now let's see War Hero in action. So we'll go over what it does briefly, and then I'll tell you how it ranks among the other copywriters. So this is what War Hero looks from the inside out. So let's head over to the editor. The uh, keyword for today is how to manifest a smaller forehead. So this is going to be our H1. And the way it works is that you can use uh, the rocket to generate the content for you, or like me, you can use different templates. So let's copy over the keyword. Then we'll go to block intros. Uh, we can use different tones of voice. My favorite is persuasive and engaging. And it's generating the content right now. So I like this one. Do you want to achieve a smaller forehead but don't know how? Then worry no more. This article will provide you with the key steps to manifest a smaller forehead. Looks um, okay, actually. Let's go back to another template, which is the blog's outline. And we'll use the same keywords, obviously. Mm -hmm. And what I'll do, since this outline is semi-accurate, it contains some manifestation tips as well as some general borderline health and surgery tips. And what we'll do, we'll just tweak our keywords ever so slightly. So instead of how to manifest a smaller forehead, we'll say how to use manifestation to achieve a smaller forehead. And we can just copy over the whole lot and we'll make them H2s. I will make those bolts. And um, the way you can do it, uh, there is two ways. You can highlight what you want to write about and click on the rocket sign. But in my experience, it produces very few characters. So if you want more characters, I suggest another way. And I'll show it to you in a second. So what I what I do is I highlight the H2, then I go to block paragraphs. I'll use the keyword. The title is the keyword. I click right to me. You can copy it over with this arrow, and we'll repeat the process for every other subheading. Mm -hmm. Same here. And when you're doing it at home, uh, you want to you want to read through 
what is being generated and you want to edit the outputs but for the sake of the experiment I am not going to I'm using raw outputs only it's actually quite faster usually than it is right now maybe it is because I have a VPN on I'm not sure and we are almost done we are down to the last subheading and for the conclusion we can use a template or we can allow our hero to generate the conclusion from the editor and this is the conclusion so we have over 1000 words of text and let's head over to the results so first an important disclaimer the output that they have just generated is going to be different to what you see in the google sheets and the dashboard this is because i ran the analysis beforehand and i just generated a new output for you to for you to see how word hero works but again the outputs that are going that you are going to see in the uh, google sheets in the google docs is going to be different but that's okay and the results are as follows for the word count it's just below 1000 words so seo score one which is um, surfer seo is 46 uh, seo score two which is neuro writer 38 visibility is very high among the highest plagiarism score is around 10 percent which is not too bad relevance is um, Again, it is on par with what we wanted to generate. Originality score is quite high, and I say quite high because I ran um, AI score or originality score across or against every output that I generated, and 50 is very high, so this is considered good. And the overall score is 6. When you compare this to the Autoblogging and Jasper, they are able to show greater numbers in a good way so auto blogging is in a gray zone green zone all the way jasper is quite good when it comes to readability relevance and it just so happens that it had the best originality score out of the whole bunch and these are borderline outliers to be quite honest uh, because as i said in the previous video ai writers are very niche dependent so depending on the niche and the topic that you choose you will get different scores and just to show you this i'll head over to um, the dashboard and you can see that the dashboard has been enriched with the originality score again the greater the score the more original the content is and you can see that um, these recent uh, generations are here but all the rest uh, the the ones that i did bef before have very low or originality scores so it is not uncommon to have for ones and zeros and there are some outliers like Jasper One Click um, generator for the how to start a firewood business here. But as I said again, uh, zeros and ones are not uncommon. So you want to, if you haven't already, you want to get access to this dashboard. It is free. And you can look for yourself uh, what uh, different AI writers get for their originality score, depending on the niche and the topic. And this is it, Word Hero is not my favorite AI copywriter, but it is great value for money. And it really surprised me with it, with its high originality score. And of course, to be 100% objective, I need to use Word Hero for various different niches and keywords. So it's not just one keyword that I base my recommendations on, but several. But all in all, I quite liked what Word Hero generated, just not as much as Jasper's and Autoblogging AI's outputs if you have any questions leave the comments down below or you can contact me from the contact details so if you have any questions you can drop me a comment down below uh, which ai writers you want me to test next and hope you like the video subscribe like share if you think that what i'm doing is of some value to you until next time bye